Hi, welcome to the channel. Without wasting time, let's go straight to the movie. It begins with Clint Barton, aka, Hawkeye, showing his daughter toxophilism, on his segregated ranch, while his better half prepares an outing lunch for them. Unexpectedly, Clint's daughter disappears, the remainder of his family, disintegrates, alongside half of all life across the universe. This is the consequence of, Thanos snapping his fingers in the wake of procuring every one of the six Infinity Stones. Tony Stark, aka, Iron Man, and Nebula, the adopted daughter of Thanos, are stuck in space, following their loss by Thanos on Titan. However, they are gotten back to Earth by Carol Danvers, aka, Captain Marvel, and rejoined with Natasha Romanoff, aka, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, aka, The Hulk, Steve Rogers, aka, Captain America, Rocket, Thor, and James Rhodes. The group figures out how to take the Infinity Stones back from Thanos, and use them to invert his move, yet learn after, finding him that he had utilized the stones again, to obliterate them, putting an end to their further use. He then tells the available Avengers that he did as such, to keep anyone else from using the stones for any other purpose. Angered, Thor decapitates Thanos, saying it's what he ought to have. Done in Wakanda. After five years, Scott Lang, aka, Ant-Man, flees from the quantum realm to find that his daughter, Cassie, is currently a young girl, and that Hope Van Dyne, together with half of the populace, has vanished in the snap. Rogers has been guiding survivors battling with the effects of the snap, through counseling sessions, while Romanoff is enthusiastically overseeing both Earth, and the, remainder of the universe, with the assistance of Rhodes, Danvers, Okoye, Rocket, and Nebula. Lang goes to Romanoff, and Rogers, and makes sense of the fact that, while five years had passed for them, just five hours had passed for him in the, quantum realm, because time does not move the same there. The three of them go to Tony Stark, who is currently raising a youngster together with Pepper Potts. They make sense of their hypothesis that the quantum realm can be utilized to travel once more into the past and take the Infinity Stones before Thanos can gather them. Stark, at first, oddballs their proposition because he is worrying about taking a chance with his family and the PC is found. Yet, in the wake of reflecting upon the loss of Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, he chooses to test hypothetical models that would work with Lang's quantum tunnel, at last tracking down one that works. With Stark now part of the idea, the remaining Avengers decide to reassemble their team. Bruce Banner has now accepted the Hulk as a part of him, and has melded his own consciousness, and the Hulks together into one. Romanoff, after hearing reports from Rhodes of an assassin that operates with similar methods to Barton, leaves to find him. Barton, consumed with grief, after the loss of his family, has been operating under the mantle, Ronan, while brutally slaughtering criminal cartels and gangs around the world, in order to try and improve the world that's still left. Natasha, finds him in Japan, and after convincing him, he agrees to rejoin the team so as to try and bring back his family. Banner and Rocket go to the modest community of New Asgard, where Valkyrie and the last survivors of Asgard have settled. There, they find, Thor, who has become overpowered by the guilt over the failure to kill. Thanos, back in Wakanda. Thor has become overweight, his hair and facial hair are overgrown, and he invests his free energy eating unhealthy food, getting intoxicated, and playing Fortnite, with his companions Korg and Miek. Thor, hesitantly consents to get back to the Avengers, after some persuading, from Banner and Rocket, subsequent to testing the quantum time machine on Barton, who affirms that it works, the team gets back together with a plan. Banner, Rogers, Lang, and Stark set out to recover the time, mind, and Space Stones during the Battle of New York back in 2012. Banner goes to, the Sanctum Sanctorum, where he is educated by the Antient One, that, getting the Time Stone from her timeline, would forestall Stephen. Strange's future endeavors to prevent Kaecilius from obliterating the laws of, nature, notwithstanding, when Banner tells her that Dr. Stranger voluntarily surrendered the, Time Stone to Thanos, she permits Banner to take it. This meant that Strange had expected for a particular grouping of occasions to happen, for Thanos to be, defeated. Bruce Banner, additionally guarantees the return of the stones to their, appropriate timelines, to avoid any unwanted impacts. Lang and Stark try to take the space stone, after the Avengers seize it from Loki. Lang gives Tony Stark's previous self a gentle heart, attack, by pulling a circuit in his counterfeit heart, while Stark takes the, briefcase containing the Tesseract when no one is looking. Their plan is, impeded when Stark drops the case after he is unintentionally hit by, the Hulk. Loki then, at that point, takes the space stone and uses it to get out of imprisonment. Rogers prevails in stealing the mind stone from Hydra agents, yet finds his past self, who ended up mistaking him for a disguised Loki. Subsequent to defeating his past self, Rogers gets back 
together with Stark and Lang, who presently should sort out one more method, for getting the Space Stone, without running out of the limited amount of Pym particles that permit them to go through the Quantum Realm, Lang gets back, to the present with the Mind Stone, while Rogers and Stark come up with a plan to take the Space Stone from a US, Armed Force establishment in the 1970s, while, likewise, stealing more vials of Pym particles to travel back, home, while there, Rogers sees Peggy Carter, and Stark has an important discussion with his dad, Howard, Rocket and Thor, travel to Asgard to recover the Reality Stone, before Malekith utilizes it against the Nine Realms. While in Asgard, Thor is, reminded that his mom, Frigga, would soon pass away and gets an opportunity with her, by chance, while Rocket steals the Aether, the disintegrated form of, the Reality Stone, from Jane Foster. The two of them get back to Earth, after, Frigga advises Thor, and he recovers his hammer, thrilled to find out that, he is still deserving of it. Nebula and Rhodes, travel to Morag to take the Power Stone, before Peter Quill does, as Rhodes gets back to the present with the Power Stone, Nebula glitches and stays on Morag, with two consciousnesses working on, Nebula's systems, Thanos and Ebony Maw find out the presence of future Nebula and go to abduct her, Nebula acknowledges what has occurred, and attempts to, warn the others, but it is past the point of no return, Thanos scans Nebula's memories, and finds the Avengers plan, he then decides to send the past Nebula, who is more loyal to him, back to the present as a spy, Barton and Romanoff travel to Vormir to recover the soul, stone, however, are clashed when Red Skull, Guardian of the Stone, tells them that they can only recover it by sacrificing somebody they love. The two battle, about which will make the sacrifice, with Romanoff at last accepting any penalty, while a distressed Barton gets back to Earth with a Soul Stone. After they all got back to the present on Earth, Stark, Rocket, and Banner set off to create a metallic glove to wield the stones, one developed from the equivalent nanotech of Stark's most recent Iron Man suit. Banner, volunteers himself to wield the glove and bring back everybody that vanished in Thanos' finger snap, reason being that he can endure both the gamma radiation, and the great amount of pain, and injury that comes by utilizing the stones. He succeeds, however, they are very quickly gone after by Thanos, who has been brought to Earth by the impersonator Nebula, demolishing the quantum portal simultaneously. Thanos decreases the Avengers base camp to rubble, separating the group and making the glove falls into Barton's security. Nebula from the past is killed by the future Nebula, as she tries to take the Infinity Stones from Barton, while Rogers, Thor, and Stark attack Thanos, who concludes he will rather utilize the Infinity Stones to obliterate the universe, and make one in his vision. The three battle Thanos one, on one, and Rogers affirms Thor's hypothesis that he deserved wielding Mjolnir, yet are each outperformed by Thanos, not long after Thanos' military terrains on the planet. T'Challa shows up before Rogers, alongside the Avengers as a whole, and different allies brought back by Banner, prior to sending off an attack on Thanos and his crew. After an extensive fight, during which Stark is brought together with Parker, and Quill is brought together with past Gamora, Thanos fights various Avengers for the Infinity Stones. At the point when he's limited by Wanda Maximoff's energy, Thanos orders Glaive to have his ship fire various energy impacts, almost crushing the Avengers' endeavors. Captain Marvel returns, taking out Thanos' ship while is battling for control of the glove. Utilizing the nanotech, from the new glove, Stark moves the Infinity Stones from Thanos' hand to his own, and utilizes them to transform Thanos and his whole army into ashes. Parker and Potts, console Stark, as he passes on from being exposed to the stone's radiation. Following the fight, the Avengers hold a burial service. For Stark, whose Mark I arc reactor is drifted out on the lake close to his home, Barton and Wanda Maximoff take comfort in the way that Romanoff and Vision, who didn't return in the snap, would be glad for their triumph over. Thanos, Thor makes Valkyrie the sovereign of Asgard, and joins the Guardians of the Galaxy to track down his actual purpose. Barton gets back to his family, and Parker goes back to school, where he is brought back together with his closest friend Ned. In the meantime, Rogers is entrusted to go into the past to return the stones, and Thor's hammer to their actual timelines, yet, chooses not to get back to the present, but to rather carry on with the remainder of his life in the past with Carter. He returns before Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes as an elderly person, and passes his shield and the mantle of Captain America onto Wilson. And that marks the end of this video. Make sure to leave a comment, like and subscribe for more.